hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching in today's video i will be doing four diys using picture frames this is part of the fab five collab hosted by krish and k the crafting cousins i'm so excited to be part of this collab with these other five talented crafters there is also a giveaway so stay tuned for that and i really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get notified every time i upload with that being said now let's craft all right i'm starting with three of the dollar tree picture frames two of them are four by six and one of them is five by seven now i was challenged by kimo from kimo's craft to use picture frames in one of my DIYs but I just decided to use them on all four DIYs that I'll be doing for this video. I'm going to start by removing the plastic from all of the picture frames and removing the stand from the center picture frame which will be the bigger one. I am going to glue all of these together now because I'm using hot glue for this, I'm going to add some popsicle sticks to the back for extra support. You don't have to um, if you use like a heavier duty glue, but since I'm not, that's why I'm doing this. I'm going to put the word family at the bottom center. I already had this family sign, but Dollar Tree carries so many different words that you can use instead. Or if you can't find some at Dollar Tree, Walmart, or any other craft store has so many different ones you can use. I'm going to use hot glue to glue this. As you can see, this was broken. So once I add the F, you can't even tell that it was broken. And that is basically it for this DIY. Now I just added some pictures of me and my family. For my next DIY, I will be using four of the Dollar Tree 4x6 picture frames, 24 large jumbo popsicle sticks and four of these bamboo sticks that I got from Amazon. I'm going to start by removing all the plastic and the inside of the picture frames. I'm only using the frames for this. I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to leave them the color they come in because it is already a pretty color. Now I will be using some large popsicle sticks. Now these large popsicle sticks are from Lowe's, 30 come in a pack for just $1. I'm going to paint them using some white chalk paint. Once they are dry, I'm going to cut 16 of them to the size of the inside of the picture frame. Once I had them all cut, I started to glue them and I did use hot glue for this. I'm using one bamboo stick for each frame to make excess. Now when I cut these, I did cut them in an angle so like that they can fit in the picture frame. And I also did paint these using the Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle. I'm going to glue the sticks using hot glue. Now I'm going to just do that to the rest of the picture frames and this is how they look the next thing i will be doing is just gluing all of these together i am making a planter 
now i'm using hot glue for this so i am going to add some jenga blocks in the inside for extra support Now the last thing I will be doing is adding a bottom to my planter so I am going to use the rest of the popsicle sticks. Now I'm using five in total but the fifth one I didn't have to cut it in half in order for it to fit. And that is it for this beautiful planter. I think it turned out beautiful. Before I move on, I do want to mention that this is part of a giveaway. All you have to do is watch the playlist and comment on everyone's video. For my next DIY, I will be using a wood frame. This comes from Michaels. It was $1. I'm going to start by painting this using the Waverly chalk paint in the color Truffle. The next item I will be using is this Bliss Easter sign that I removed from a frame. So I'm going to just paint this using some white chalk paint. Once it's dry, I'm going to glue it on top of the picture frame using hot glue. I use my Cricut Maker to print the greatest gift is family. I am going to just transfer it to the sign. Now Dollar Tree carries so many different things you can use instead. They carry posters, sticker letters, and wall stickers. And look how beautiful it already looks but I decided to add some more so I'm going to use the Dollar Tree rubber transfer stickers and then just put leaves here and there and that is it for this beautiful wall decor For my next DIY, I'm going to use another Michaels wood frame and this also cost me $1. There's so many things you can add to these wood frames and so many colors you can paint these. But I'm going to paint this using some white chalk paint. I did leave the little clip so I'm going to just carefully paint around it. Once it's nice and dry, I'm going to add it to this piece of paint stick that I painted using the Waverly chalk paint in truffle. I'm going to use hot glue to glue this. You can use wood glue, but since I'm not, I'm going to add some tower blocks on the back using hot glue. This is going to make it more sturdy. I use my Cricut Maker to print this Bless This Nest and I'm going to just transfer it to my sign. 
now i'm going to do it like more towards the bottom because i do want to add some greenery on the clip and that is it guys i think this one turned out beautiful it was so easy and simple to do now you can use this all year around by switching the greenery And that is it guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know down in the comment section which one is your favorite because i would love to know and don't forget there is a giveaway two winners will be chosen june 23rd thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye